In Hawaii, dozens of Honolulu County employees have been exposed to COVID-19, prompting others to work from home for a month. Meanwhile, police are stepping up enforcement in preventing large gatherings. Alfred Asenas has more. Now, just two days after serving as a bustling voting assistance center in downtown Honolulu last Saturday's uh, primary election, the Honolulu Hale, which houses the mayor's office and the city council, has been ordered closed to the public effective immediately after at least 10 employees who work there have been tested positive for the coronavirus. In an announcement by Mayor Kirk Caldwell on Monday, all government workers have been ordered to work from home through September 6. The offices are currently being sanitized while employees are undergoing testing. Since making that announcement, the mayor himself has gone into quarantine, but later that evening he announced on Twitter that the results uh, from his test came back negative. Meanwhile, City Council Chairman Ikaika Anderson announced that he has decided to postpone upcoming council and committee meetings. Also, satellite city halls located in various locations throughout Oahu will remain open with stringent safety protocols in place and will receive customers by appointment only. Tax payments and other critical businesses will continue to be conducted at Honolulu Hale with a new check-in system in place. And to date, there are 48 uh, city and county of Honolulu employees who have tested positive for COVID-19 from various departments to include uh, the Honolulu Fire Department, which has the most number uh, standing at 13, followed by the Budget and Fiscal Services and the Honolulu Police Department, each of them having nine cases. And speaking of the Honolulu Police Department, to recall last week, uh, Police Chief Susan Ballard announced that they will reinstate and enforce again some of the measures that have been put in place, especially in establishments like bars and other uh, uh, similar places throughout Honolulu. Here's Chief Susan Ballard. I have created a COVID enforcement team that will be responding to complaints as well as proactive patrols, especially where we see large gatherings. There will be, in addition to regular patrol and our other regular officers who are out on the road, there will be an additional 160 officers island-wide, seven days a week, in all of our eight districts doing strategic enforcement. So with all of this enforcement going on, um, and we've tried to warn people, educate people, and at this point, we're probably going to do very few warnings. It's going to be either citations or arrests. So we're just asking people to please abide by the emergency proclamation. We need to get the state open. We need to get our island open. We need to get back to normal. The Hawaii Health Department has reported 140 new cases, bringing the statewide total to more than 3,600 cases and sadly three more lives have been claimed by the virus all three of them lived here on oahu bringing the statewide total of fatalities to 34. reporting from honolulu hawaii i'm alfred asenas eagle news we live in interesting times